good morning dear students welcome in our next session in this session i am going to discuss with you the writing skill section and then the first part that is letter writing friends what is mean by letter writing you have studied in previous standard also okay so there are two types of letter one is a formal and second one in informal letter friends in our uh, describe syllabus we have to study formal letter so what is mean by formal letter the letters which is written for the business purpose okay regarding the complaint okay regarding to for the government officers okay that letters is called a uh, formal letter see whenever we are applying somewhere that time we are writing the letter that is the type of formal letter whenever you are doing the complaint okay for example uh, in adequate water supply in your locality this problem is there we have to uh, inform this problem towards the we have to complain regarding it towards the concerned authority okay that time we are writing a letter and that type of letter is called formal letter okay so friends when we are writing the formal letter that time we have uh, to write in a specific structure okay what is that format one by one we will discuss see when i need to write this letter at the time first point is required here that is sender and address i am discussing with you what is the format of this letter that is sender address sender means what to whom ever the letter is sending suppose you are the secretary and being a secretary you have to complain regarding to the inadequate water supply okay you are a citizen these problems occur in your locality you are the citizens of that locality means here you are a sender you are writing this letter to the concerned authority that means you are a sender here and so that's why you have to put down your address here see how to write it the address and contact details of senders are written here what you have to mention here friends pause the video and look write it uh pay attention here it's a very important how to write sender at the that point i have explained here you have to mention here address and contact details of sender are written here the first important point is here. while writing sender address you have to mention this point that is the contact details and uh your address information address can be mentioned in the question or an imaginary address can be written accordingly most of the time in your question paper you are getting that address okay you are getting that address for example uh, in any part of the this problem is given here uh, you are dash rahul okay you are rahul sonami for example i'm telling you are rahul sonami sonami uh, 345 bv okay wazirabad new delhi okay you are complaining about your in your locality there is a problem of dash such type of address is given when we are giving that address that time you have to copy it and i will give you right but most of the time if address is not given here i just can we have to write it by ourselves for example i have given one example here 33 jai mehar wazirabad new delhi okay see friends most of the time do not mention here your name because in a complimentary clause we are mentioning our name okay understood this i hope you understood the first point very well now the second point point is here that is the date that is very important point after sender address you have to mention date okay see this date for the writing date you will use any standardized format see 1912 2021, okay. Otherwise, 19 December 2021, 19 by 2021. You can use any format, but if you ask me, then I will arrange for it. Okay. Any standardized format is uh, you can use here. So second point number is that after date you will write receiver address. Understood this? Okay. Now next point. The second point is here receiver address. After sender address, you have to mention here receiver address. Receiver means what? To whom you are writing this letter. 
See, how do I decide is begin with the designation of the receiver. For example, uh, you have to do complaint about the particular problems or uh, you have to publish that problem, that news in a newspaper. So you will write this letter to the editor. So designation here, the editor. Suppose you are writing this letter to the mayor, concerned authority in your locality, the problem is getting and you have to write this uh, letter to the concerned authority. Suppose you are writing this to the mayor, so you will write here the mayor. The mayor is a designation. Address of the recipient of the letter. See, the editor of the newspaper, the Hindustan, Hindustan Times, and Mayor, Municipal Corporation. As like it, you will write a letter to the principal, okay, or any other concerned authority. You will write this letter. At that time, you have to mention the designation and address of the recipient. Okay. Second number point we have completed of the letter that is subject. Okay. See, how to write subject of this data? For example, here I have given how to write the rules of writing subject. The main purpose of later, main, the main purpose of the later forms the subject. Why you are writing this later? That is highlighted in the subject. It must be written in one line. Subject may not be too much lengthy. It must be in one line. It must convey the matter for which the later is written. Why are you writing this letter? It must convey the matter for which the letter is written. Why are you writing this letter? What is the purpose of this writing you have mentioned in this subject? For example, frequent power failure. Complaint against frequent power failure. Complaint against inadequate water supply. Okay? That is a format of this letter. That is a subject of this letter. Complaint against frequent power failure, complaint against inadequate water supply. See. Okay? See. Application for the leave. This is the type of subject that you have to write in your letter. While writing letter, that you will be able to follow. And most important part of the letter that is that is salutation and body of the letter. Body of the letter is a very important part of this writing. Salutation is for Salutation means a gesture meant to greet someone, for example, sir or madam. You will mention either sir or madam. Don't mention sir, public madam. This is not, uh, this is not uh, wrong, but it is not standardized. Either sir or madam. Otherwise, respected sir or respected madam. Okay? Understood this? What you have to do here? You have to write after subject, you will write salutation. Understood? Okay. Salutation means gesture meant to greet someone, for example, sir or madam. Either sir or madam, respected sir or respected madam. After this, the most important part of the letter that is the body of the letter. You have to convey here. You have to write here your problems. Okay. What is your expectation? What solutions you are expecting? From then, that you have to mention here. How to write it? The first paragraph mentioned briefly the reason for writing the lecture. Why are you writing this lecture? Okay, who are you and why are you writing this lecture? You have to mention this point at the beginning of this lecture. Okay, whenever you write this lesson, later at that time, do one thing. You have to divide the body into three parts. Now, in the first part, you will introduce yourself and you will mention briefly the reason for writing the letter. You will introduce yourself and mention briefly the reason for writing the letter. Why are you writing this letter? For example, you are writing this letter to the editor. For example, you are writing this letter to the editor. At that time, what you will do? You will write, you will write like that. Through the column of your esteemed newspaper, I wish to draw the kind attention of certain concerned authorities towards the problem of cash. Whenever you will write formal letter, your language must be polite. Okay? You will not write in a rude language. Always keep in mind, it is a very important point, your language must be polite. Okay? So, another example I am telling you. For example, in this way also you can write, On behalf of the citizens of Dash locality, I wish to draw the attention of concerned authority towards the problem of Dash. This is the beginning of this year. 
Okay? You want to leave from your principal. At that time, I am a student of Dash. Okay? Uh, I am a student of your school or college learning in standard Dash. This you have to mention at the beginning of the day. Second paragraph. You understood this? What you have to do in the first paragraph? You have to introduce yourself and mention to you the reason for writing the lecture. In the second paragraph, contains all the details to be mentioned. What problems we are facing? Okay? What problems are facing due to the frequent uh, inadequate water supply? What problems occur there? That problems we have to Due to the frequent uh, power failure, what problems we are facing? That problem we have to mention here. You have to mention the reason how you are facing the problem. In that point you are uh, expected in the paragraph number 2. In the paragraph number 3, you have to write last paragraph state what one would want the address person to do after receiving the letter. Means you will suggest them some remedies but you may not order them, you may not force them, you have to do this. Okay, it is my strict warning, it is my strict order. You may not use such a language here. Here you will suggest some solution. Okay, and you kindly request them to do this. Okay, it depends upon them to follow you or not. But we are facing these problems and being a mayor of this society, being a mayor of this area, okay, they have to do it. But here you may not force them, you must do this. Yeah. You are not paying attention, you are not feeling here, that's why you are facing the we are facing the problem. Such a language never used in the letter. Okay? See this means. Here we have completed. Next one. Now what we might complementary close. Okay? And last point we meant that I will discuss. Okay. For my that is a complementary close. Friends, complementary close are the words written at the end of the day. At the end of the letter, whenever we are mentioning thank you. you you are specially, you are sincerely that word complimentary person. Yeah, how to write it? Thanking you. You are sincerely, you are truly, you are sobriety. Okay? Then after you will use signature here and the name of this person. If name is not given, then you can write XY check. Here you uh, we have completed how to write the letter. Now I will give you one or two examples of that, then you will clearly understand. What exactly, how exactly we have to write this letter? Presentation is a very important. I will write here how to write it, how you show here, then after you will do it. Example. See this, I am reading this. You are Manish or Manisha, a resident of D34, Rasa Bihar, Dwarka Nagar, New Delhi. Open manholes in your colony become a source of danger. For the Palestinians and legal owner, write a letter to the municipal commissioner complaining about the problem. See, it is given in your question paper and you have to write a letter. Now, what are given in here? You have given sender's address. Look at this. Okay? Sender's address is given here. Manish or Manisha. D34 Rasa Bihar Dwarka Nagar New Delhi. It is your seller address. Now see another thing is to whom you have to write? It is your receiver, municipal commissioner. You have to write it to municipal commissioner. That is your receiver address. Next point. Hmm? Manholes. In a colony, it can be source of danger. It is no problem. Three things are given here and based on these three things you have to write a letter. How to write it? See, friends, note down this problem in your to-do and I will tell you how to write it. As far as these problems we are solving it now, you have to mention here, sender address, B34, Rasa Bihar. This address is given in your question paper and so that's why you have to write as it is. Dwarka Nagar, New Delhi, then after you have to mention date here. 10 May 2021, okay, or 2020, Municipal Commissioner, to whom we have to write, it is a receiver address now, Municipal Commissioner, NCD, this Municipal Corporation Department, New Delhi, subject, 
regarding the problem of open manholes. What problems you are facing? That problems you have to mention here. So now, after this, you have to mention uh, sanitation. Friends, here you have to leave one space. Suppose after writing center and this, leave one line, they have to write it. They leave one line, they have to write it. Same thing you have to do here till sanitation. After sanitation, you can mention your character. See how to start it. That is opening character. I wish to draw your kind attention towards the unsanitary and dangerous conditions prevailing in Rasadha, Dwarka Nagar, New Delhi. Friends, pause the video and write it. See, I wish to draw your kind attention towards the unsanitary and dangerous condition prevailing in Rasadha, Dwarka Nagar, New Delhi. See, it is your first paragraph. In the second paragraph, most of the manholes of this colony are open which have become a source of danger for the pedestrians and vehicles owner. Drains are broken at the central place, dirty water is all over on the roads and so many other problems we are facing due to it. So many other problems we are facing due to it. In the second paragraph we have mentioned what problems we are facing due to this. Okay? In the last paragraph, so I request you to take immediate action against it and initiate action against the erratic staff. Okay? So it is your request and then after you have to mention complimentary clause that is thanking you, your self-belief and Manish. So friends, I hope you understood this very well. After this, I am giving you some letters to write you. Okay? Giving you, you have to write that letters in your notebook. First of all, note down this, pause the video and write this all in your notebook.